Hello and welcome to Kif.com. I'm Zach and I've got one question for you. Does your website load in one second or less? Today's video is all about website speed. So let's get started. We're going to test our website speed with another website called gtmetrics.com. This is a third-party website. I have an account registered and we're going to test our website kif.com and discuss data metrics and the importance of website speed. So I'll just copy and paste the link here from our home page and I'm going to go into the analysis options and switch us over to Dallas USA. We are a US based web hosting company so we'll test it out of Dallas USA. On the right click analyze and here we go. So some other options that are available on GT metrics is obviously choosing which region. So if you wanted to host the default is Vancouver, Canada, they've got London, India, USA and some other options out there. And the other thing you can do is choose whether you want to host it on or look, test the speed on a different device such as a mobile phone. You can also check the responsiveness on a tablet, desktop, and, and others. So here we are, here's our performance report for kif.com generated for us. Our website page speed is an 87%, it's a B. And in this first tab, we get to see all of the things that the metrics thinks we're doing correct and some things that we can do better. Generally speaking, it looks like we're doing okay on most of the conditions except for defer parsing of JavaScript. So deferring parsing of JavaScript just has to do with, in particular, this home page. We've got a lot of loading bars, animations with a slider, um, and just we could do a better job of handling that JavaScript and when it's loaded and parsed. Um, we've got a Y slow score of 72%. That's right about average. I think it's just above average on the on the Y slow score. Um, looks like our primary recommendation here is to make fewer HTTP requests. And this will be a pretty common theme of websites that you test if you want to do this for fun or test your own website is make fewer HTTP requests. It says we've got 12 external JavaScript uh, requests and 12 external CSS style sheets. So what that means is in the header or in the footer or somewhere we're calling 12 external JavaScripts and calling 12 external CSS files. We can combine those, maybe cut it in half down to six, try it again. I'm sure that score would improve at six um, and our page load time would likely improve as well. Moving on to the next tab, this waterfall tab is really cool. It shows you the times that everything took to load in sort of a graphical um, interface and gives you the descriptions of them as well as giving you the HTTP code we're looking for that code 200 if you're unfamiliar with HTTP codes check out our blog post about that um, code 200 is a success It's exactly what you want to see um, so this is the waterfall view and our first get request took 243 milliseconds we're gonna to get to that in just a moment here in the timings tab. All right, so here in the timings tab, this is a really important tab. We'll just go from left to right. We've got a redirect timing, says it took zero seconds. Connect, backend, TTFB, this is a really important metric. And then we go through all the way till our fully loaded time of 1.1. So just talking about a few things here, on the redirect time, because we tested HTTPS kif.com, there was no redirect or we're not redirecting anywhere else. Had we put in HTTP kif.com, we have a 301 redirect set up to send all of our website visitors to an HTTPS for the SSL secure connection. So there would probably be about 100, maybe 200 milliseconds, no more than 200 maybe around 100 to 150 milliseconds of redirect time that it generally takes to go on a 301 redirect to go from HTTP to HTTPS. 
This is why it's also really important to have all the, the links that you have out on the internet or that you send to people. Um, if you have an, an SSL certificate installed and you're using HTTPS, which by the way, you really should on any website, you send them the HTTPS link because they won't get that redirect timing. Um, then we've got a connect time backend and then TTFB. This is really what I want to get into. TTFB stands for time to first byte. All right, let's just read about it here. See what it says. It says time to first byte is the total amount of time spent to receive the first byte of the response once it has been requested. It is the sum of redirect duration plus connect duration plus backend duration. This metric is one of the key indicators of web performance. All right, we have a time to first byte of 240 milliseconds. All right, um, there's some other times in here or some other tabs, video, history. Um, don't really look at those too much. Primarily, I look at page speed. I'll look at the Y slow to see what re um, recommendations it has. And generally, they're, they're pretty good recommendations. Uh, the waterfall is kind of cool to look at, but I don't necessarily concern myself too much with that. You just want to look at it and make sure that you're given all code 200s. Is what, that means that the client has successfully received that um, from the server. So then we go to timings. Timing is a big one um, in this time to first byte metric. Um, just some other things here. Fully loaded time again, 1.1 seconds. That's really, really fast. And we have a total page size of 799 kilobytes. All right, here's a tip for you. If your website is greater than one megabyte, it will take longer to load. If our website was 500 kilobytes, we would load even faster, right? If you're greater than one meg megabyte, do everything in your power to get that website page, the page size lower than one megabyte. It really, really has an impact on the, on the speed of your website load time um, because it's just more information that it has to send. And a lot of, a, a big contributor to that is images. So an image, especially one that not, has not been compressed, can take two to any to six, maybe even eight megabytes if you don't compress it. It was a nice high quality image that's gonna take all that load time through the roof. All right, you'll probably be seeing load times of like three, five, seven, nine seconds even um, on a big page size. So try to get that page size down. That will increase your loading time uh, enormously. All right, so that's pretty much it here on GT Metrics. Um, we're gonna talk more about this time to first byte metrics. Again, I really wanna dig into speed here and timing is everything. Let's, uh, we're looking here at a tab. This is the developers, uh, Google developers web blog. And we're looking at a tool called Lighthouse. Now this is a tool developed by Google that um, allows you to test your website and gives you recommendations automatically on things that you can do better. So it says here you can run it against any web page, public or requiring authentication. It has audits for performance, accessibility, progressive web apps, and more. So it can do a lot of stuff. And if you have Google Chrome is your web browser, you just run Lighthouse and Google Chrome DevTools, and it pops up on the top right, and you can run it on any web page. All right, in Lighthouse, it gives you this audit of the web page that you um, that you audited. So we go under performance here and let's look at keep server response times low. All right, this is why we're getting into that time to first byte. It says users dislike when pages take a long time to load. Slow server response times are one possible cause for long page loads. It gives us some recommendations which we're gonna go through here. And then I just wanna talk here in the bottom says this audit fails when the browser waits more than 600 seconds to, to, for the server to respond to the main document request. All right, so if you have Lighthouse on, your, on Google Chrome and you run or test your own website, or if you're using GT Metrics and your time to first byte is 600 milliseconds or greater, then it's gonna give you a failure on the audit. And believe me, Google does keep this in mind. 
the bot that crawls your website to index you in the search will keep will have that as a as a factor for where you are in the in the search index in the rankings and it's even more important in the mobile side um, so again time to first bite it's how long it takes the client to receive the first code 200 the first byte of information from the server now Let's look at some of the recommendations that Google has for us on how to improve this metric. It says, optimize the server's application logic to prepare pages faster. If you use a server framework, the framework may have recommendations on how to do this. Optimize your server queries, how your server queries databases, or migrate to faster database systems. And then lastly, upgrade your server hardware to have more memory or CPU. Now, a question I've got for you on these recommendations from Google is, let's say you have your web hosting through GoDaddy, HostGator, Bluehost, or any pretty much any other web host out there. How are you going to act on these recommendations from Google? All right. How are you going to optimize the server's application logic to prepare pages faster? Well, if you're just doing, if you have shared hosting or VPS hosting through uh, one of these other web hosting companies, the answer is you can't, all right? You don't have any control over really any of these metrics. Um, maybe you could purchase more CPU or more memory, but I'm sure it'd be at a great, great cost. So what are your options? Well, kif.com offers high speed cloud web hosting. And guess what? We've got all the features that Google recommends in their, in their blog to increase page load time and that time to first byte metric. Not only time to first byte metric, but just in general, website load time. We're living in an age of instant gratification. Gratify your customers for coming to your website, give them that pleasure, that reward of a fast, nice, clean website with hosting at kif.com. All right, let's just take a look at some of the features that we offer that shows we have what it takes to keep that time to first byte fast. All right, we have SSD RAID 10 storage drives. That's the first thing. SSD is a solid state drive, not a hard disk drive that's already faster because the the disk drive a hard disk drive is has the disk in there spinning solid state it's got nothing it's just solid all right raid 10 that's a combination of raid 1 and raid 0 that's data mirroring and data striping so we've got copies of all the data and it stripes which means it's even faster so we've got copies and striping raid 10 storage our web, our web servers are light speed. They're light speed web servers. Light speed web servers are nine times faster than Apache and other alternatives out there that are used by other hosting companies such as Microsoft IIS and Nginx. We also have MariaDB. MariaDB is a drop-in replacement. It's compatible with MySQL databases, right, which is most of what WordPress and, and other CMS platforms use, drop-in replacement. It's got purpose-built storage engines to increase workload optimization. MariaDB was built for speed. It was built by the developers of MySQL and because they were concerned about Oracle going the wrong direction with MySQL. All right, and if this wasn't all enough, we've also got free migrations. So. Switch to, to kif.com, send in a support ticket, let us know, and we will switch your web host, your website over to us for free. All right, included in all these features is a free SSL certificate. So we talked about the redirect to HTTPS. If you don't have an SSL certificate valid installed on your website, Google Chrome was going to show visitors that not secure up in the top left hand corner. It's over here where this lock is, we have, a, we have a SSL that is current and valid, but if you don't, then you're gonna get a not secure message pop up on your website 
thereby losing credibility and customer trust. All right, so here's how easy it is. All right, we've got four different packages to choose from here. Starter, business, turbo business, and the enterprise. If you're hosting a WordPress website with just one or two email accounts, you can probably get the starter package and be just fine. All right, so we're gonna click on the starter package and we've got three options. Register a new domain, transfer your domain from an existing registrar, or use your domain um, update. Use your domain at your, at your uh, existing domain and update your name servers. So we do offer free domain registration, but you have to purchase at least one year of hosting. And we offer .com, .net, and .org on the free domain registrations. Let's just say though that you have your hosting at GoDaddy, right? At this minute, you're hosting with another web host and your domain is with them. No problem, I forgive you, let's fix that today. All right, so we're gonna click on, I will use my existing domain and update my name servers. All right, let's say my domain that I'm hosting somewhere else is test.com. All right, that's my domain. I'm gonna go over here and click use. All right, and now we have an option to configure what billing packages we want. So we can choose a one month price, 12 or two year or three year price. The longer you pay for in terms of time, the more discount you receive on the package. So a one month price costs more than the 12 and so on and so forth, all the way out to three years. We reward our customers that dedicate more time to that they are going to spend with us. But uh, hey, let's just say you're not sure about these, these kiff.com guys, just try them for a month. Hey, no worries, $4.53, all right? On the right click continue, and here we are. So we're gonna buy web hosting on the starter package for test.com. Obviously test.com, you would put your domain in there. And we have an option here to put in a promo code. Stay, uh, follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and YouTube for promo codes and other special offers that we run throughout the year. And we'll go ahead and check out. All right, so here we'd enter our personal information and um, at the bottom we can either pay through PayPal or a credit or debit card. All right, this information is all stored securely. Uh, we have an SSL certificate through the connection when you send in this order and we also secure it in our databases with redundancy. So your information is very secure with us. Um, you just go through this uh, information form here, uh, agree to the terms of service and complete your order. Don't forget as soon as you complete your order, put in a ticket and say, hey, I have got my web hosting ready to go. You'll give us the login for your current web host and we'll switch your website over for free. All right. So I'll leave you with my new favorite quote here is speed kills. All right, speed kills. If you have a slow website, speed is gonna kill you. It's gonna kill your website, it's gonna kill your business. If you have a fast website, speed is gonna kill. It's gonna kill your competition. You will dominate your, com your competition in the search ranking, in, in customer satisfaction, in all these areas when you have a fast website, all right? It's up to you. You can decide what side of speed kills you're going to be on. Thanks for watching.